little ashy. TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time you see this, we might not be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, don't forget, if we do go live and you miss it, go to twitch.com. T-H-E-E underscore L-I-T underscore one O-N-E. You know what I'm saying? That's how you replay the lives. They're all saved. You can pub there, can watch them back and forth. Do your thing. Uh, don't forget to follow though. You hear my cat? This is wild. Bro, be talking to this every time I start a video. He want to converse. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, don't forget we do got merch, and we got Patreon. We post Monday through Friday. Uh, stuff that can't go on YouTube and exclusive patreon content you know what i'm saying let's get into this stuff can't pay we'll take it away season four episode 10 there's only one season left for this and that's that's tough what? Come on, man. we can't get 1080 we're riding 360 On average, UK landlords are owed £1,800 in unpaid rent, and the problem is getting worse. The number of tenants failing to pay their rent has risen by nearly 20% over the last year, and increasingly, landlords are turning to the courts for help. Every day in the UK, 420 landlords apply to have rental properties re repossessed. AM. Steve Pinner and his son Ben are High Court enforcement agents. They're For some reason, every time I see Steve's son, I'm just like, ah, it's not the same. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're on their way to repossess a property in Hayes, West London. This morning we have a. Possession. It is against Mr. Serge Asa Wasa. Um, the landlord is meeting us there with their locksmith. Chub jolly good. The landlord claims the tenant owes £14,000 in rent arrears, but the agents aren't here to collect the money. Their job is to evict him today. 14 bands is crazy. Like, it get like that. Like, you missed three months, you'd be at 10 already. <laughs> It'll be here somewhere. No numbers on the door. Numbers it's here. Oh. Big old double fronted house. Nice. It's going to be interesting. The landlady, Ms. Party Verdi, is waiting outside the property with her brother. Okay, this Hi. is Ben. How are you? Hello, right. Have you got keys or anything? Yeah, we've got, um, got keys for the property. That's okay. the front door. And, uh, okay, if you give us a few minutes, yeah. just we'll let us deal with That's the landlady? That's tough. <laughs> That and we'll come back remain professional. <clears throat> the tenant, Serge, has been living at the property for a year. It doesn't look empty because there's cars in. This job isn't going to be straightforward. Why not? Curtains moving, twitching, no? No twitches. Hello? The High Court writ allows the agents to gain entry to the property. Hello? Even if no one answers. I can hear noises, but... Hello? I'll take it upstairs. There's a lot... This is one house? I still find that UK is wild. Like, in America, this doesn't happen. A door for the kitchen? It should, though. In some houses, like we like the open concept, but but I like I, for some reason I like the door. Give me a door in my kitchen. So rooms it. Hello. It's like a hotel, and they're all locked. Locksmiths gonna have a great day. This family home is not all it appears. Was this a brothel? <laughs> it's like 40 towers. Suddenly a man emerges from one of the bedrooms. Hello, good morning, sir. 
My name's Ben. We're High Court Enforcement. We're here to repossess the property. What, How many other? Today? Yes, today, I'm afraid. How many people up live here? The agent's visit seems to have come as a surprise. Is there anyone else in the rooms? What's this? Hello. Hello there. Someone downstairs. It's clear that there's more than just one tenant living in the house. My name's Steve Pinner. I'm a High Court Enforcement agent. We have a writ to repossess this. Bro came out in a sweater and drawers. Is, that's wild. I get it. You home. But you had time to throw the sweater on. You should have threw some sweatpants on. That was the better thing to do. It's property. I'm a tenant here. And who's your landlord? He's upstairs, I believe. His name is Sarge. Steve quickly assesses the situation. He's not actually the owner of the property. He's so he's been subletting. Okay. He's been subletting to you. And pocketing your money. That's crazy. Without permission. And living there. Like it wasn't going to come back to get him. Like. And the, the owner of the, obviously not paying the rent across. He's not been paying the rent. It would appear so. We have the authority from the High Court. You know what's crazy? I lived with somebody, right? And this is still one of my good friends to this day. I lived with her. Um, it was, it was, and I'm, I'm cool with the landlord till this day. Um, we lived in his house in Chicago. He had a house. Um, he converted into a three unit. We had the middle unit. Um, so it was two bedrooms upstairs and then there was a basement. That's where my little room was. You know, I had the whole basement. Cool. Um. One, it was another girl there. She was in charge at first, but he kicked her out because she wasn't, she wasn't, she was lying. Like she was char she was charging more for rent than what it was. So she kicked her out. Then that's when I moved in. Um, and me and my friend, we was just splitting rent. So she was taking the rent money, right? And she wasn't paying this man. And he called me. He was like, bro, he was like. Do you know what's going on with heaven? Because she's missed, like, she hasn't paid rent in two, two and a half months. And I was like, um, I don't know. I don't know because she was collecting my rent. But now, kudos to her. She did end up paying it. She still, she didn't spend my money or anything. She had it, but she just didn't have hers. And she had got it later. But I don't know what was going on. But from that point on, I paid him directly. I ain't paying nobody but the leasing office. You feel me? To repossess the property. So, I'll give you an hour to get your stuff together. Is he upstairs? Somebody's upstairs. I don't know what he looks he's like. He's upstairs because I can hear his voice. The man upstairs is Serge, the tenant who's been subletting. How many people live here? Um, that's five rooms. Five. The rest here? I'm going to have to start You're going to have to start, yeah, ringing around. On properties that have been sublet, the person who originally rented the property has sublet to other people. They're paying them, but he is not paying the landlord. So they're stealing from both sides. It's crazy because if this dude, Serge, would have just paid the landlord, he still could have made a good little profit. This is like, bro, you you overdoing, you over whooping. Like, you doing too much. Like, dang, now look what you did to these other four people. You done put them on the street, you on the street. You could have just been flying under the radar, collecting money, and doing the right thing. And I hate, this is the type of people, man. They're stealing from the land. And then he looking baffled. What are you baffled about? You know what you've been doing? Look, stop rubbing your eye. This rubbing your eye is, ah, uh, I'm confused. What's, bro, you know what you did by not paying him and they're also stealing from the subtenants what's happening it's a kind of a joke serge the official tenant must now face his subtenants am i going to get the deposit back before i yes, go you are. okay thank you That's you now realize that you've got to get your stuff together and that yeah i know that I'd appreciate if you please give me my deposit before I start packing up. Right. Ain't got nowhere to run, Serge. Even though the man has been paying his rent to Serge, he and all the other occupants must leave within the hour. That's not a good day for you, I know. Mm. <laughs> Can I suggest you get dressed? 
I will, but I'm just, yeah, you get yourself sorted. The agents must now check the rest of the house to see who else. And they're definitely not getting any type of, you know what I'm saying, help from the council. Is living there. It's a big old gaff, isn't it? It's nice. Hello. Good morning, madam. Do you want to get dressed? Madam, we're high court enforcement. There's just rooms everywhere. Five bedrooms at least. Well, he's earning a few quid, isn't he? 500 pound a room per month. One, two, well, he's not paying for that one, obviously. Three, four, five. Making two and a half grand a month. Doesn't have to go to work, does he? Now, how much is rent though on the on the on the property per month? Probably like seventeen. Not even. Probably like fifteen. <coughs> Bro could have been living rent free, pocketing five a thousand dollars. Like you're goofy. This is goofy. Yeah. Landlady Pardeep and her brothers have come into the property. The landlady should not help them. <laughs> That's, what is she gonna do? What is this is bro she's out 14 she's out 14 bands there's no helping them like you got to get out so I can recoup my money the crib is in nice condition I need you know what I'm saying that I mean it's up to her if she want to keep them but like I, I would not as a landlord I know it's not their fault but it's not my fault either I'm a business this is a business like I tell you a lot of time the agents must break the news that their tenant, Serge, has been letting rooms out and collecting rent without their permission. Apparently, they've been subletting it illegally. I can't believe it's every oh. single room here. Amount of stress this man's He's caused us. He's, He's, He's got to go. Legally, Serge must leave today, but the landlords have to let him back into the house at a later date to collect his possessions. He is going to go outside the door, but they are going to have to come back and collect their stuff. Uh, you know, yeah, grand. of course. I know so that. You can understand. No, no, this is not fair. Serge has overheard the landlord's conversation. We will leave, but like, we will like not move our stuff today. Well, you, know, you can today. do that to you me. Can leave today. We, will will leave today. we will leave today, yes, but we will, will. not move our hour. stuff today. Shut hey, your mouth. I don't need to shut your stuff. Hey, look, look at him. Look at him. Shut your mouth. You need to be packing. The agents must act quickly to calm the situation. Serge, if you talk to me like Surge. that, Serge, Serge, what start? What Serge mad at? <laughs> you got caught, buddy. It is a simple repossession. Is threatening to spiral out of control. Calm down. Let him talk against me. Like a, I will smash his head. Wow. This is surprisingly negative. I wasn't like last two episodes ain't been that negative. This surge is bringing it. Surge is, you know what I'm saying? Surge is bringing the surge of negativity. Hayes, West London. High Court enforcement agents Steve and Ben were carrying out a repossession. Hello. Hello? They had a rent discovered numerous of them and not passing the rent on to the lift before I start packing up. Things gone today. The amount of stress this man's caused. Go 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 we don't need a recap. We just literally seen it. There we go. Now the agents must use all their negotiating skills to get this challenging eviction back on track. Hey, get on. I can't move all my stuff today. How much stuff have you got? A, I didn't get a notice. It's you not won't happening. get any notice. You've had it's notices. It's not happening. You can, you can say whatever you want. You can have... I've not finished. You the landlord is owed £14,000 apparently. He's not, he's not owed that. We were going to pay him. He refused to take our money and came to an agreement and said, we should not pay him. We should just leave. Listen. Okay. We, okay, we had enough. the money to pay. It wasn't doing any repairs. Okay. I know what we did. Everyone in here knows that we're going to be moving out of this house around December, not today. Serge claims the landlords had agreed to let him keep the 14,000 pounds. I don't believe Serge. Pounds in outstanding rent and let him move out in a month. I'm not going to lie. This woman is absolutely... <laughs> I... You need to go back to the landlord and tell him that these people, you had an agreement with them and you didn't, you know, you've gone. 
Okay. So they've played it. You ain't even get your lie together, sir. But the landlord's brother denies Serge's claims. We've yes, no negotiations with him, none. Okay. Don't talk nonsense. We want you out. Let's we want it. you out there with you your stuff. We want you out. Okay. Don't you dare talk to me Calm like down. that. Okay. Yes, but you saw Calm it, down. right? Calm down. Good. If he talks to me again like that, I'm not shouting, so please don't shout at me. I'm not shouting at you, I said. Tell that Search, guy. I'm trying to talk to you. I don't, I don't, now, you, it's upset me because you I'm not here. I don't, I'm not here to take sides. Good. Let him not come upstairs and talk to me like Look, that. Look, calm down. When people try to be reasonable and then he comes up and he's like, Look, we're not look. Gonna give Do Serge got two women in his room? Serge ain't paying no rent and got two. Practicing polygamy in there. That's tough. No turn, blah blah blah, this, this, that. What does he think? This England, I'm still gonna get the time at this. I'll leave this stuff in here Search. and I'll come Search. back and I will get my stuff. Search. That's exactly what we Search want you to do. Leave today. But he's adamant that he won't take all his belongings with him, as it's his legal right to return at a later date to collect them. Ben tries to negotiate a solution with the landlord. By us telling him he's got to get all his stuff out now, it's causing a problem. So I would suggest letting him come back with, like the rest of them, to get their stuff. What we'll do is when they arrange a day, all the tenants. In one time? One time. Okay. Okay, let me just go back in. Y'all gonna need ben police. Ben has managed to get the landlords on side. Okay, I've spoken with the landlord and lady. Yeah. They have agreed to let you store your stuff here for the few days like you've asked. Okay? Right. Do not take this kindness as weakness, okay? No, it's not. I'm going to update party. Just as the eviction seems to be back on track. You are Patrick? Yes. One of Serge's subtenants arrives home. And he's in for a shock. Imagine Patrick coming home from the overnight shift, ready to lay down, and this is what he's walking into. Me and I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> Paid my rent. I understand that. You know, and I understand. What, what actually happens here? You know, what happened here? He didn't pay or what? He didn't pay. He wants to know why he's being evicted when he's always paid rent to search. This is just, just ridiculous. You don't pay the rent. He, he said you don't pay the rent. You know what I mean? Let me. What is the? You tell me. Then? I don't listen, know. Listen, listen. Do you know the real story? Yes. You, you've you told, know, you've, no, told, no, you've yeah. told me. You've told me. Good. Thank you. So, what Patrick, about if I'm Patrick, 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 Patrick. At the end of the day, you've still been taking their money. So your story is not adding up. You've been taking their folks' money. I, I told you that we were going to move in December, right? Yeah, but that's, no, no, that's it's, not the point, so, you know what I mean? No, no, no. What, I, I will be homeless or what? You know you're what not, I mean? You're not going to be homeless. You don't yeah, know, I, well, don't, I, don't, I don't be homeless because I haven't had the accommodation already two months. You know what I mean? The agents have been in the house for almost an hour and a half. It's literally the origin story of, a, of somebody who's not going to like that person though. I ain't gonna say the it. The first subtenants are finally leaving. You alright? Yeah, good. Might be old, but I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. Dude, like 6'5". Sorry, that's all. I'm just sorry that you're in a position and I hope today it's better for you. Yeah. I was wondering, no one, I, I think no one was aware. And that's that's the sad part of it. Yeah. yeah. You signed contracts with everyone, taking deposits, you know, just done things the right way, so obviously no one had any doubts about anything. Yeah, but I wish you good luck for Thank you. Finally, two hours after the agent's arrival, Serge leaves the property. But despite subletting the house and owing £14,000 in rent, he still feels he's been wronged by the landlords. Looking at it from a point of view of others, they're thinking, OK, he's gone away with fourteen grand what of rent, right? But the whole of this eviction process is a painful process, right? I had a three years agreement on this house, which has come short because of the problems I encountered. I'm the one that's been treated in an unfair manner. 
if they throwing me out, probably that 14 grand is some kind of compensation, don't you think? I'm using it to get our well, delusional. accommodation now. Then hears that Surge already has a plan. He's got another property. You know that? To what? He's got another property. Same, oh, yeah. Same. And he's going to do the exact same thing over and over again. Oh, you'll you'll be there in six months. <laughs> the family will have to decide whether to pursue Surge for the £14,000 he owes. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely. We're going to court for that. We're going to court. Anything over like... One thousand. I'm going. I'm gonna see you. Anything over five hundred dollars. There's something has to happen. <laughs> but for now, the agent's work is done. He do look like Zayas most <laughs> Osama. More than half of small businesses are worried about cash flow, with many struggling to pay invoices on time. Late payments are causing more and more businesses to go into debt, and some to fold altogether. 41.5 billion pounds is owed to businesses in late payments. High Brian. Court Enforcement Agents Brian O'Shaughnessy and Delroy Anglin are in Worthing. This crazy. I'd watch this show too much. I know they cars and everything. Sussex to collect a large debt from a car parts company. Right. Tell me, old cocker. What are we got next, mate? We are going to AGB Parts Limited. Um, in the first instance, we're looking to collect £10,121. That's a lot of bloody parts, isn't it? The money is owed to a van rental business after AJB Parts hired vehicles and returned them in a damaged condition. Do you want to go in there? Yeah, AJB Parts is registered at the home of its owner, Mr. Greg Berek. Fifth floor. Fifth floor? Always. It's always right. This always the way, isn't it? Yeah. Mr. Berek is the geezer. Hi, good morning. good morning. I'm looking for um, AJB Parts Limited. Yeah. Is that you? No, not me. Who's that one? My husband. Is he in? No. Where is he? He's in work, I think, at the moment. Can you contact him? Yes. We're from the High Court. We're regarding a debt. Mm-hmm. Can I repeat? Hello. Hello, Mr. Berwick. Yeah, that's me. Yes, my name's Mr. Anglin. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. I've got a high court rip regarding monies you owe to Rossets UK. Oh. I'm quite confused because I, I, I started paying money to money. What? So I don't know. I don't know what he will do. Mr. Barek says he's been paying the debt off in instalments. Mr. Barek, you're lying. Somebody's... I don't want to be... 95% of the time they're lying. He's trying to save face in front of his wife. But you know what I'm saying? If you was honest and open with your wife in the first place, you wouldn't be in this predicament. <laughs> but the claimant went to the High Court to speed up the process, and it must be settled today. Dell needs him to come home to discuss the matter face to face. Well, how far are you from your house, sir? Sorry? Well, where are you working, sir? Where do you work? Okay. Can you pass me to my wife? Yeah, she's here. She's listening. Don't yes. let them in. Knew it. Okay. Can he will be here in ten minutes? Ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. good. Can you wait? I'll be happy to wait. No yeah. problem at all. Okay. Mrs. Barak and her child suddenly leave in the lift. Do you notice how adept she was at making sure the door was closed? Oh yes. So it Smart. tells me we're not the first. Well, it tells me she's been warned. The agents are suspicious and bro not even coming home in 10. Do some digging while they wait for Greg Berek to arrive. A letter of enforcement has already been sent to his workplace. Ah, oh, amazing. I've got some new details. Um, he said he had a unit down by the airport. I've actually found out what the unit is from the claimant. They've given us those details. If we don't want to pay, we'll have to go to him then, won't we? 
If the agents can't get Greg to settle the debt when he arrives, Brian has a plan B. They'll go to his unit at the airport and seize his business assets. I've got the unit he's training from. I don't want him to be aware of that. Absolutely area. correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Brian be playing chess. You don't front your move, my boy. Do not front your move. Just pull up <laughs> with the paperwork. Makes some sense, doesn't it? Uh -huh. We'll just say, look, let's crack on you. Lots, lots more we can do here. You've got to be able to. Low key, man, if this is your first time viewing a live and you have not followed, just hit that follow button. It's free. Think out the box a little bit and if you can keep the element of surprise, it's all good. You've got every chance of recovering something. 45 minutes later, company owner Greg Barek arrives home. Hello. Oh. He on badness. My boy pulled up smoking a Newport 100 cigarette. Are <laughs> oh. you Greg? Yes, How are you, Greg? How are you? Good, 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 guys. We have a high court writ for just over £10,000. Long story short, you need to get ten thousand okay? pounds. Okay, but but how I can pay if I don't have money? Seriously, because this is not just one bill what I have to pay. You know, it's some some bills what I have to pay as well. At the end of the day, you, you, this you, bill needs to take priority because I, this has got a high no, court risk. Look, I just want to collect the money. Yeah. Okay. I don't have nothing. Got a nice little Persia right there. Let's see if it's uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if it's leased or owned. <laughs> you see that big man there, my yeah. colleague. He doesn't have the patience that I have. I understand, but you, you know what I can say. The agents want to give Greg one last chance to resolve the matter now. Um, 50 percent, 400 pound a week arrangement. You want to pay half of it? I don't. Have it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but Brian Brian, pull up to the place, man. Brian and Dell haven't finished with Greg yet. Okay. Let's have a go. Let's have a look down there, mate. He's he's uh, he's got money around him. He don't want to pay it. Greg may think he's off the hook, but the agents are about to surprise him at his workplace, and this case is far from over. Hey. When did Nissan make a pickup pickup truck? That must be UK exclusive. Shooting straight back down there now, mate. Yeah. We've seen that, haven't <laughs> Worthing, Sussex. Brian and Dell were trying to collect. No. To ten they had to I just want to. And left. Yeah. We've seen that, haven't Now Brian and Dell are on their way to see if Greg has returned to his airport unit. We're on the trial again, we're on the trial, we're on the trial. If he's there and still refuses to pay, the agents will seize his business assets Take to cover the debt. So I do not play this one, just get there and call him out. Cool. Gloves are off him if we find his assets in that down there. It's for him to prove what's with what and who's with who. Brian and Dell's tactics appear to have paid off. This is called it. Oh, yeah. I think you're fine. What's on the boxes, mate? I don't know, but you know what? Go in there. I'm about to go and find out. The large warehouse is full of goods. Hello again, Greg. This is where you're at, yeah? AGB parts. No, it's not. It's not here. Here is completely different. There you go, Greg. Now they're in front of your move. Now they didn't caught you. So we're working for them. You're working for them? Yeah. What's the score? He says he's just working for them. Okay. For okay, do you want to get your governor out then? We'll and talk to him. Sorry? Do you want to get your boss out then? No, no, he's not here. Greg claims that his company, AJB Parts, is not based at the warehouse and that Lying. he's working here for a different business. But the agents are suspicious. We're going to have a problem, aren't we? Why? Well, Unit 18, AJB Parts Limited. Here. What's the check we're doing here then? Your company's here. No, it's not here. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. Oh dear. At the end of the day, I want you to pay this debt. Yeah, I, that's what I'm, I said to you. I no, will pay. What did I say to you? Yeah, I will pay, but like I said, I don't have the money to pay that. Find the money to pay half of it then. I don't will find today, seriously. When debt has lied to me, I kind of smile to myself, but I'll only let the lie go for so long. When you've got a high court writ, and you've got the right person in front of you, 
and you're there, they've got assets that need to be removed if they're not going to pay, then that's what you're going to do. The paperwork. Yeah, I believe in this situation, he's going to have to remove assets. But he is in his face, pulling out mail document, proof after proof that this is the place. And he's just continuing to cap in this terrible cap. Proves that AJB Parts is based at the warehouse. So Brian and Dell can seize assets to cover the £10,000 debt. Okay, have you got receipts, invoices for everything here, yeah? This is the stuff we'll just arrive today. Okay, what's arrived today? Boxes, nothing more. Greg now claims that most of the goods in the warehouse don't belong to AJB Parts. Right, let's start from the back. Brian and Dell investigate the stock. Who does the tow truck belong? I'm not tow truck, the, the electric forklift, yeah. Belongs to the owner who's coming back. I don't have nothing, basically, just for this year. It appears multiple companies are trading at the warehouse, and Greg's company only owns a small amount of the stock. But Brian hopes that the threat of taking away what little he does have will prompt Greg to pay. It might. It might. At least, like, I'm pretty sure they give him, like, three and work out a payment plan. He'd be cool. Okay, we'll call the vehicle down to remove goods. Stuff that you can't provide invoices for, we'll take control of, okay? Yeah? The reality of his situation finally sinks in. He's on the phone now. He's on the phone. Bro, out there checking his bank account. There you go. So sometimes you need to just give him that little, come on, sort yourself out. Brian, what was that? That little what? Greg finally has an offer for the agents. 1,200 quid, maybe 15. But on Friday, I will try to do the best and manage to enhance. This is, but this is maximum what I can do. Seriously. If you, don't, if, if you think it is not, take a start. Basically, I will have to finish everything. I will go to bankrupt. Well, and then... and on, the, on the end of the day, no one don't make them well. don't take any money. When somebody can't pay and they have little assets, we'll, we'll take it away. look at their financial situation. But you have to exhaust all avenues in, in trying to collect it before we consider doing an arrangement. The purse are not worth 10k? After an hour at the warehouse... I'm trying. Are you? Yes, I'm trying. The agents think they've pushed Greg as far as he can go. We'll let's, let's, do we'll the let's, let's accept yeah. what you're saying. We'll bring the 15, yeah. get the 1500, then we can set an arrangement that you can afford to pay. How does that sound? Okay. okay. A deal is done. 1500 pounds today. I don't think Friday he's going to come up with the money. Let's just be real. Another two and a half thousand by the end of the week, and then 1000 pounds a month for the next six months. Greg heads home to get the cash. I just think we've caught him a little bit on the up where the money is concerned. He knew this was coming. 20 minutes later, Greg is back with the £1,500. Well done. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Be good. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Excellent. Greg will now have to stick to his payment plan to clear the remaining... I don't believe Greg will stick to it. Eight and a half thousand pounds, or the agents will be back. Yeah, I might as well get ready to be back. Property repairs are now the leading cause of dispute between tenant and landlord. Over a third of all UK landlords... 1K for the Persia? Maybe in 2024, back in these days, it got to be worth more. When is this, like 2014, 15, 13? ...claim they've had their property damaged in the last year. At the same time, a quarter of a million tenants have withheld rent, claiming their landlords have taken too long to make urgent repairs. 58% of landlords and tenants dispute are over damages of the two properties. This is a 
two way road, 30 I'm mile an hour speed limit. I notice you're doing 35. Don't I'm not, I'm about. doing 30. Watching these junctions left and right, there might be children lurking behind this car. What's the bollards? I'm listening to the bollards. What does Paul own? High Court enforcement agents Paul Bowhill and Steve Pinner are in London to carry out another eviction. The writ we have this morning is a writ of possession. Where is it? The landlords claim they've lost £20,000 as their tenant, Faisal Azim, hasn't paid rent for a year. It doesn't say that the landlords are meeting us, mm -hmm. the landlords may or may not be there. Mr Azim and his family have already had notice of the eviction and he's packing the car, ready to leave. As oh, those people moving well. there. Oh, well, there you go. Let me quickly get out. Perfect. This is going to be one of those ones. Hello. I've got family in the house. We know what you're here for. Maggie. Listen, what I need from you, let me no. phone the council. Yes? Welcome. What are you ringing the council for? So they're going to have to, uh, he told me to give me a ring as soon as you arrive. Because obviously I've got eight children, my friend. Yeah? This is your I've got, house. Uh, I've got three kids in there. Let's stop you there. Uh, this is your house. Yeah, I'm the... Right, let's try again. I'm Paul. Hello, Mr. Ahmed Omar. Can you give me a ring, please? Uh, the bell is here. You told me they'll call you when they arrive. Can you call me back ASAP, please? Yeah? Thank you. As there are eight children in the house, Mr. Azim has been waiting for the agents. Okay, wait a minute now. How big is this crib? I see eight children and how many adults? Eight children is a lot. <laughs> to arrive. My man been spreading his seed. So that fertilizing stuff that's crazy he can take the eviction notice to the council and seek emergency accommodation this is all for right. you all right okay mr azim claims he stopped paying the rent when the landlord refused to do repairs to the house i'm not gonna lie with eight kids ain't no way i'm gonna stop paying the rent because of some repairs like we'll, we'll figure it out later but like I got eight kids to keep a roof over their head. Like, I'm not going to stop paying the rent for that. That's irresponsible. That's a stupid decision. It's not wise. <laughs> Look, I've gone and paid for a skip myself. I've got the clothes done for them. I've cleaned my property. You know what I mean? I'm not making a scene. They're making a scene, mate. And if you know the scene can get only accelerate. We're not making one. You're going to make one. We'll give you one, mate. It's not a biggie. We've all been to prison. Don't mind going again. Talk about it. Let's get negative. Despite his dispute with the landlord, Mr. Azim seems willing to leave. But then the landlord's agent arrives. Mm, and this is like rule number one. Like, it's already peaceful. Why you got to show up, show your face and aggravate the situation? And Mr. Azim's brother becomes agitated. So you're the agent? I'm the agent. Okay. Okay. Tempers are rising. But then the landlords themselves arrive. Get negative. Hi, Paul. I'm Hello. Landlady. Do they know you? Uh, I think they know me, yeah. yeah. Just don't go in there yet. Okay. We know from experience that if the landlord is standing behind us or is invisible to the tenant, the whole situation is likely to be turbocharged. It's purely aggravating if he is. Mr. Razim is concerned. Yeah, like literally, you've won. You won the battle. Like, you don't got to show up and watch me. Like, that'll make me mad too. Like, look. Here. About his family's belonging. Even though I know it's my fault, but like, come on. We've got a big sofa and there, a couple of uh, washing machines and that. Am I going to be able to get that? Yes, you are going to. You are going to be able to get back in there, yes. When, I, when is that? What's well, that? Oh, you, you need to make an arrangement with the landlord. And you need to make this arrangement for me, then, Gaff, because these people here, they're not communicative at all. Okay, well, what we'll do is. I'm going to put this on your door. This is our office number. The last of the belongings are packed, and Mr. Azim and his family leave. Oh. I'm not going to lie, this is pretty peaceful. Monica and her parents are now free to return. They cleaned up and everything. It's been terribly stressful. The house, the house was originally for you and your sisters. Yes, I mean, my parents bought it as an investment for my sisters and I, so we rented it out to a family. But right now, we're in debt for £20,000. My mom and dad are suffering. The tenants are searching. Her hair is nice. <laughs> it's flowing. She must have knew she was getting on TV today. ...that they withheld rent because repairs weren't carried out is a... But 20000 ...prize to the family. Is that what you said? He's holding the rent. He's holding the rent because there was water coming through the roof. Why didn't he say... Why didn't he ever tell us that? The property has been managed by an agency. 
This is the first time the family have been inside for a year. And they're in for a shock. It's disgusting, isn't it, really, all this? I mean, look at the kitchen. Oh, no. It's totally wrecked it, aren't they? I think they did it on purpose, you know. I'm not, like, a year, but they got eight kids, though. You got to think about it, how messy one kid is. And then put two kids. Two kids is the equivalent of five. Five messes. So just imagine. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, I have a child. Like, her mess, I'm, I'm clean. Like, I don't do that. Like, I clean up after her every time so she understands that this is how it's supposed to look. If your kid understands, if you never clean up after your kid and all they see is mess, then that's the vibe they're going to get. Like, oh, it's always like this. That's how it's supposed to be. Oh, you got to clean up. I know it's repetitive. I know it's, like, annoying. But, like, that's the only way they're going to know that it's supposed to be clean. It's not supposed to look like that. Let me clean it up. My daughter is very clean. Like, she'll mess it up, but we'll clean it up. If she sees something out of place, she gonna put it in place. Like, come on now. I, I attribute part of this to laziness. In my personal opinion. Like this, never. I'm all like, never. Upstairs, the scale of the damage becomes clear. It destroyed the whole house in it really basically. Oh, it do look like the leaf was leak the roof was leaking now. Well you've got eight children here and presumably two or three adults. Monica's father thinks that the problem in the house isn't damp as the tenants claimed. The arm been opening yeah, window at all, isn't it? It's condensation. It's condensation everywhere. This building should have been inspected every so often, but obviously it's not been done properly. It's going to cost us a lot of money. You need to talk to the agency, don't you? I just can't comprehend it, should I? Yeah, y'all yeah, in the whole 20 and it's looking like it's gonna take 20 to repair this. Just like this. Oh. 40 the ball. smell and the state of the property proves too much for Monica and her mother. Excuse me, you just need to get past before my mom's I cannot breathe in there. <clears throat> I mean you can tell it's um <clears throat> it smells like uh, animal urination, this and that. The eviction is complete. Look at this. Look at, they have a, this is called a skip. They got a full skip over the top. And it was steel stuff everywhere in there. But Monica and her family now face another battle. I mean, the nightmare is over now, but this is just the start of another nightmare, which is to retrieve the money and fix the property. Which yeah, yeah, definitely. I got it. You got to go for that in court. Which is, to me, it just seems beyond repair. It's been fairly emotional, you know, my mom. Y'all gotta take like the wall apart and get under there to make sure it's not rotted. Y'all gotta do a whole lot of stuff. Roof might need to come out. Y'all gotta, that's tough. Thank you. Think about it, man. You'll be, you'll be, if I was 50, 60 years old and I put all my money into this investment as a house, and to pass down to my kids and they kids' kids and and I let somebody lease it and they tore it up like that or didn't it wasn't properly taken care of, bro. I might cry. This every, every dollar I have is into this. This is this is what I the legacy that I can pass down. Like, yeah, that hurt. <laughs> Come on now. It's real pain. Monica and her family Brandon have got their house back, but Brian and Dell are about to meet a woman who stands to lose what little she owns. I don't want to take his stuff. Man, look, you ain't never, hey, listen, you ain't, you must not, you must not have thought about leaving anything here for your next generation. 
Just think about it, man. What if you worked all your life, all of your life, you worked 30, 40 years of your life, and the one thing you was able to afford to pass down to your kids is toe up, and you got you out 20 bands, and you probably got to put 20 to 30 in it, and you already just spent all your money. Bro, come on now. Even if you don't cry, you're going to be mad. Something got to get told. Some, you got to do something. Something's going to happen. <laughs> come on now. See, that's why you ain't got no kids. What you have to do? Listen, Leslie, Leslie, do you understand the implications? Oh. To meet a woman. In the past 10 years, average personal debt in the UK has increased. Like my anger, like I would be so angry a tear might drop. <laughs> Cause I, well, how else am I gonna express my anger? You know what I'm saying? We got, we, I would have to go to court litigations. I want, I want all court fees paid for. I want repairs paid for. I want, I want um, the rent. I want all of it. Used by nearly twenty percent, reaching almost fifty thousand pounds. I'm not even gonna lie. I would be like, with the repairs, it'd be like, all right, maybe I can give you some leeway because it wasn't handled right, but we couldn't get in. So, maybe the agency that they went through, I would try to do something with them, but like, yeah, I'd be teed. <laughs> As Britons oh, continue man. to borrow more and more, almost one in three will struggle to pay off these mounting debts. High Court Enforcement Agents, Brian and Dell, are on the Kent coast with a writ to recover over £6,000. Lovely on the, on the old seafront here in Margate. Yeah, look I've been down there for years. My mum used to take me down here as a child. We're going to see uh, Miss Leslie Clark. Which Lewis Thorax should I do, y'all? Me, let me know in the comments. Like, I'm going to pull it up. Never mind. I'm going to pull it up. Y'all just tell me. She owes money to Mr. and Mrs. John Cressy. In the first instance, we're looking to collect £6,176.77. The debtor, Leslie Clark, was taken to the county court three years ago for unpaid rent on her previous property. But the debt was never paid. Now her former landlords have escalated the case to the High Court to get it resolved. Oh, look, what numbers are here? 17. It's going be... to be here then. Let's leave this here for now. The team need immediate payment, or they can seize possessions to cover the debt. Ooh. Hello. 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 <laughs> At least they're friendly. How are you? Yeah, them some big dogs, player. Yeah. My name's Brian. I'm looking for Leslie Clark. How are you? Um, I'm from the High Court. I'm here with the High Court writ. Um, the claims from Mr. and Mrs. Chrissy, John Chrissy, Chrissy. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's that? What was that for rent arrears? Uh, well, yeah, they evicted me from the house and everything, but I haven't heard anything since then. Okay, oh, come on, let's get you in. Rooney. Right off top, she lied. Hey, come on, in you get. What they've done is they've upgraded it to the High Court for us to pursue you to collect the money outstanding. Now we've got a balance of six thousand one hundred seventy-six pounds and seventy-seven pence. There's a copy of the writ for you. So, why did they evict you? Um, because I got into um, a bit of trouble with paying the rent. It didn't go on for very long. That's fine. Are you working at the moment? I don't work at all. You don't work at all? So is there any way we can get this, these funds paid? Uh, I, I don't have any money. You don't? don't Leslie claims she can't pay, so the agents need to change their approach. If you read the High Court writ, it, it clearly states on there that we're commanded to take control of any assets or goods that you may have here to cover this debt. I don't have anything. It's my partner's house, Mr. Is Sykes. He works on P&O Ferries. Okay. So how do we move forward from here? What we need, you know, if we can't get this paid, we're gonna have to look around and see what assets there are. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if you wanna have a little think or make some telephone calls and see what you can do. That would be great. I haven't got anyone. To call. No. I I've got okay. Five children. And I don't think they're gonna be. <laughs> okay. The seriousness of the situation doesn't seem to be registering with Leslie. We're going to go down the route of possible enforcement and removal of goods then, yeah? Because you can't pay it at all. Okay then, if that's what you have to do. Well, yeah, because you can't pay it. So. No, I can't. I don't, I don't work, so. Okay, fine. Okay. We'll do that. Okay, thank you. So she seemed at peace with her decision. She can't pay it. <clears throat> I don't think it's really kicked in yet. But maybe I'll 
try a bit harder and maybe push the point. No, I genuinely think she understands. Point and say, look, this is what's happening. Maybe she needs to hear that a bit more. Well, look, I don't want to take your stuff. I don't. Well, you have to. Not if you can pay. I can't pay. I don't work. There must be something we can sit down and organise. Because... Oh, uh, money. <laughs> Leslie, listen, Leslie, Leslie, do you understand the implications? No, 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 no. How do you support yourself financially? Financially? I don't. Uh, my half, he pays the bills here. I just think we All right. Dell wants to find out how Leslie got into debt. Is she keeping it real? So, you haven't worked? No, I, I've, nev I've never worked. You've I've never worked. I've got five children. I was care with my mum. And then my other two sons and strange from England. So. You don't have any contact at all? Oh, no, they're from my first marriage, my first husband, everything. So you never got any money or anything from the divorce? No. So when you came here, what did you come here with? Nothing? My children. Your children and a clothes on your back? Oh, a black sack and a It seems that Leslie was left with almost nothing after a divorce fractured her family. I wonder if Leslie loves this man she's with or is she here... Or is she with him because of, like, <laughs> survival instinct? You've had a tough time with him, haven't you? I, I have, but I'm really here now. He's a good man, isn't he? He is. He is lovely. Saviour. He's lovely. Yeah, he is. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes there are underlying issues that we need to be aware of. We do try and, and, and show a lot of empathy, but we still have to do our job, and we have to please everybody, which is quite difficult. Leslie has been through a family crisis, but if she can't find a way to settle the debt, her former landlords could force her into bankruptcy. What could you... I don't think bankruptcy is like a crazy option for her. She doesn't, she doesn't work. I'm pretty sure she doesn't own any businesses. She's... It might, that might be the way to go. Mm, right, and... I wish to... he was here now, but he, he does week on, week off, and he went yesterday, yeah. so he's back next I'll day. tell you what, why don't you give him a call, tell him, tell him that we're happy to do an arrangement for you, mm -hmm. and let us know what figure you come up with. All right? Yeah. Okay. The agent's only option is to set up a payment plan, but as she has no income of her own, Leslie calls her partner Royston for help. I've got, like, the high court rift, and I told him I haven't got the money. Don't worry about me, they are very nice people, so don't worry, I know you're so far away and you're probably panicking, but if I give you to the man, yeah? Hi, Royston. Hello. Hello, sir, how are you? Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. What we need to know is what figure we can get a month towards this debt, bearing in mind it's about six grand. I'm telling me nearly all my wages goes on the household bills and stuff, yeah. so I haven't got anything. What, what could we afford? Oh, God. Um... I could only do like, uh, I don't know, between £50 and £100 a month. So if you say £100 a month, how's that sound? Yeah, that'd be brilliant. All right. <laughs> when somebody can't pay and they have little assets, we look at their financial situation and make the right decisions. You know, we understand people are having difficult times, so we have to look at what's in front of us and try and help as best we can. Yeah. Okay, leave it to me. Um, we'll get back to you. We'll give you a text or something so we're not okay. annoying you. All right. Okay. All right, chat. That sucks, man. Bye-bye. Yep. All right, thank you. <clears throat> Here you go. Um, okay, let's go down to the kitchen. Let's go. She has no way to help herself because she's been a stay-at-home mom her entire her entire existence of adulthood, which is a salute, salute, you know what I'm saying? But, like, dang. Paperwork written out. Royston is only able to pay a fraction of the debt each month but it's clear to the agents that he's pushed himself to the limit. Brian accepts his offer. Listen, thank you. I know it's been difficult for you today. Yeah? It's just a bit shocked. Face I've never heard from Well, we appreciate you having a smile on your face. Yeah? I <laughs> But, you know, you didn't have to be, did you? You could have been all effing and blind and all sorts, couldn't you? Oh, my mum. My mum's wife should kill me. Would she? <clears throat> The case is over. car parts all in the kitchen. Over for now. But if Leslie doesn't keep up with the repayments, the agents will have to seize what few possessions she has. Bye bye, Leslie. Mm, take that leopard skin jacket hanging up. Bye bye. Thank you. Probably worth something. I mean, to be fair, they paid off in five, six years if she.
doesn't miss a beat. <laughs> you know, can't. five, six years of our life. Sounds like a long time, but when you get to our age, it flies by there. pretty quick, doesn't it? Anyway, should we go for a dip then, Delroy? See you over there. A what? A what? It flies by pretty quick, doesn't it? Anyway, should we go for a dip then, Delroy? See you over I gotta be mishearing that. Should we go for a what? Oh, it than flies than by pretty quick, doesn't it? Anyway, should we go for a dip then, Delroy? See you over Brian, this is your second week in a row. This is your second week in a row. I'm not treading water, it's not my thing. Extensively refurbished, knew it. Different location, okay. Greg only paid 1,000 to rent it. Told you. I knew he wasn't gonna pay no more. All right. Can't pay, we'll take it away. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, I'm going.